Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to check out Cyclone Retwisted from Sample Logic. Uh, let's see what we get here. We have a lot of different categories, arpeggiated bass, harmonic soundscapes, kits, leads, pads, and wave synths, as well as a bunch of multis to start with. Construction kits, instrument stacks, and one note glory, where you just have to hold one note and it kind of does the work for you if you want to do that. So let's go in. I'm started with the arpeggiated category. So before we play through the instrument and the different sounds, I'm going to take a look at the interface. Um, this one is for an arpeggiated uh, preset and this one is for a harmonic uh, soundscape preset. So we have different uh, controls depending on which category you choose. Let's, let's take a look at the um, arpeggiated first. There's a lot of different controls here, but it's pretty simple to use. Um, Right now, this arpeggiator, arpeggio, goes backwards. I'll show you when I hold down the keys. So you can adjust forward or reverse just by clicking this. You can enable latch mode where you... So I just hit the keys once, if you saw down there, and it continues to play. Um, then freeze mode, let's take a look at that. So there, when I hit freeze mode, it stayed right here on this one note um, instead of going through the arpeggio. Now these different steps, um, you notice one of them says no, most of them say note, uh, and it'll, it'll select which note is being played, but you can go in and let's say do this one glide, this one I changed to stutter, um, and so let's hear what that sounds like when you do the stutter effect or the glide effect. Um, because you can do different controls depending on which uh, step you want. If you want something different, like an effect, instead of just playing a different note, you can do all of that right here. So you see I'm just kind of randomly playing with the different um, effects here. The arpeggio type, you can do randomize, down, up, um, and then the transpose was what changed the key or the pitch of some of those notes there, as well as the length. I made the last one a quarter note instead of an eighth note, and it held on a little bit longer, which will actually throw it off sync. So make sure you kind of uh, keep these all within a certain value, or else it'll go over the two measures you want it to play for and everything. So that's a quick look at the um, arpeggio control interface. Let's go to the um, the other soundscapes and stuff. This one's more straightforward. We have filters. If you click on each one of these, it'll go into a more uh, detailed sub-menu, and then you just click this view right here. It'll take you back to the main page. So we have lo-fi, distortion, delay, reverb, dynamics, EQ, the actual waveforms here you can pick from, or different rompler sounds or actual waveforms. Then we have triggers, LFO, pitch, and the mixer. So most of this is pretty self-explanatory, but it'll just give you more ways to shape the sound.
and you'll notice here that while the arpeggiated presets have the step animator on by default, of course, because they're arpeggios and they're going to play in a certain way, uh, you can turn on the step animator for any one of these presets. So I've now gone from the effects page here, which is by default what shows up on many of the presets that are soundscapes or you know instruments, playable instruments. And then you can just click here and go to step animator and do the same types of uh, things that we did with the arpeggiated.